Okay, now that we've seen how to manage contacts, create sales funnels, we're gonna see how to actually send emails with System.io because of course, you want to send emails to your contacts and make money. So you have two main options. The first one is the newsletters. The second one is the campaign email. So let's go to newsletter. So newsletter, they're gonna be like the um, emails that you're gonna send manually to your um, to your uh, to your um, list so I'm gonna go here I'm gonna choose the tags uh, I want to send the email to so here you can change your sender name the sender email address and these default settings you can change in the mailing settings item menu here okay so here you can um, type in your text like hello Hi there, hi there, I would like to blah, blah, blah. And you can type in your text. So in case you're wondering right now, we don't have a visual editor that allows you to create some fancy emails. Uh, we're gonna add this feature soon, but you have to know that I've been doing email marketing. I've been actually living off email marketing since 2010 and it's been proven that this kind of email converts better because it doesn't look like a commercial email. So you can, in the meantime, you can actually keep sending emails and make money with your online business. Okay, so here you type in the text, you can add some uh, attachments here you can include the follow the tags you want to send to and here you can exclude the tags you don't want to send to okay so here you have an option that's uh like if you want to uh to exclude people who subscribe less than let's say 10 days ago okay for example if you have an email campaign that is sent to your new opt-in subscribers uh that lasts for seven days maybe when you want to when you send a manual newsletter you want to exclude these people so here you have the ability to exclude all people who register less than uh, eight, eight days ago in this case okay so here i can click save and i can schedule the email or send it right away to my list so here we have the campaign so i don't have any campaign so i'm gonna click on um you know, like, uh, uh, let's say people opt in to receive a five day uh, coaching course, you know. So here I can edit the campaign so I can actually add emails to the campaign. So here is your freebie. I can change the sender name here and here I can set the, de the delay before sending the email. Let's say it's zero hours. I want the email to be sent right after opt-in. So here it's the first step. So here I'm going to type in the, the text and here I can click save and save the test email. So, so actually I can choose a Gmail address. Uh, because it's bad for deliverability so we strongly advise you to uh, purchase a domain name you can get one for like seven bucks per year and uh, a mailbox and just create um, uh, an email address with your own domain name so it's gonna be much better so we don't allow people to send emails with the Gmail address or a Yahoo address um, Yahoo actually doesn't allow you to send emails from a Yahoo email address um, that is not sent from their own servers that's DMARC in action uh, for Gmail actually it's not correct it's not DMARC it's just the fact that uh, we think it's a bad idea to send emails to your list with a Gmail address okay and Gmail actually uh, should be implement DMARC soon so it won't be 
possible, technically speaking, to send emails uh, to your list with the Gmail address. Okay, so here are the campaigns. Here you can check the statistics. So it's quite important. You see the um, the amount of email sent over time, the average percent of open, average percent of spam reports. So they're not spam. They're spam reports. It's when someone actually click on um, mark this email as spam. Someone who received your email and manually clicked on uh, report a spam that you get a spam report here. So it's very important to check this out. And the average percent of bounced emails bounced is when there was an issue with the delivery of the email. So you might also want to check out this this figure here because it's quite important for uh, your deliverability. Okay, so that's all for the emails. Uh, you have two main features, send emails manually with newsletters or send emails automatically with campaigns. And if I have an, some advice to give to you is don't make it too complicated. If you want to create a, um, uh, an email campaign, just write down an outline you know like first email it's going to be like hello second email is going to be some content third email is going to be uh, an answer to an objection fourth email so you can go with an email campaign that lasts for maybe five days one week two weeks usually shouldn't be too long or it becomes very hard to create and to maintain but my advice is don't make it too complicated you know go with an email campaign that lasts maybe one week, maybe two weeks, and go with it, you know, take one afternoon, two afternoons, write down the emails, set them, and you're good to go. Don't try to make it perfect. It's better to have something in place uh, that works right now. And once it's set, it's gonna work on autopilot for years. So don't bother too much. You can still go back, ed edit your email campaign, but try to get started as soon as you can. And then you can send newsletters to your, uh, to your subscribers on, um, on a regular basis. Uh, for example, you might want to send, I don't know, like uh, a newsletter per week or twice per month or once per month. Try not to stop sending emails for a month and then come back because people uh, will have forgotten forgotten you so my recommendation is actually to set a, a schedule okay so you can say okay I'm gonna send emails maybe twice per month once per month once per week but you should set a schedule and stick to it that's my advice okay guys so let's see you in the next video where I'm gonna show you how to automate your business